What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about SoFi. There is a lot of things that's happening to SoFi. Rallies, sell-offs is all over the place. But I do want to break down a couple things that are all very much bullish and what that might mean for SoFi and its investors. But before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships. Link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, let's get right to it. So you can see on the live ticker to my left we are actually negative we were kind of like i said in between going sell-off rally it is all over the place 36.9 million as far as overall volume 51 the average and 7.1 million shares being purchased by institutions and hedge funds just today alone but even looking at this intraday chart we are tapering off a little bit most likely a lot of people taking profit still a lot of fear out in the market and keeping in line with that we did bounce off of that very pivotal five dollar mark make sure you guys take a look at my video about that because I do feel that a lot of people don't understand how big of a deal the $5 mark is to a lot of stocks out there, especially as far as how institutions interpret $5 and those kind of stocks. So make sure you do pop over and take a look at that. But again, right to it though, you can see as far as some short information and short updates, they are actually very hesitant and this hands down, they're trying their very best to keep it down. They are increasing 1.85%, which works out to be 6.91 million shares being additionally shorted today. So despite everything going through a massive rally, clearly a lot of people are very much against SoFi. Cost of borrow is starting to go up as well, so 9.23%. And like I've always said, cost of borrow and short interest are usually inverse. When cost of borrow goes up, short interest goes down in theory. But in this case, this attribute is a little bit more bearish only because there is a lot of downward pressure. Clearly, they're trying to keep SoFi as a penny stock as best as they can. And looking here, current short interest is is roughly about 21%. And also the short score is 72.41. Utilization is 100%. If you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, make sure you leave me a comment in the description below and I can always explain anything that you need to know. But as well, all this information is available via Ortex. Getting right to it though, there was a new round of 13 Fs coming down the pipeline. Some good, some bad. Woodmont did add a new position. There's some institutions as well that increased their position by 1700%. So that's very positive positive. Outside of that though, City did look like they closed out some puts, which overall is fairly good, but they also did close out some actual shares. It is all over the place as you can tell, but keeping in line with what I just mentioned about City, they did actually give us a rating. They reiterated a buy rating at $11 price target, and you can see previously it was 17, so they did cut it a little bit, but still, $11 is fairly good given on where we are currently at. And I'll just stay on Interactive Brokers for a second. I just like to always bring up the sentiment. So looking right here, clearly a lot of people are really liking the discount. A lot of value investors are getting into SoFi, especially based on the previous earnings. I was very impressed by that. There's a lot of good things that was said. So a lot of people clearly like this. Unfortunately, like I already mentioned, shorts are trying their very best to keep it down as much as possible. So take that how you see that. If you do like Interactive Brokers, click on the link in the description below and also the comments has a lot of good information such as this and even more so as well like I said a lot of institutions SoFi is getting more and more institutions you can see this nice little line going up here and looking right here as well even more so on the strategic entities that is increasing and has been increasing more on a quarter by quarter basis so clearly a lot of good things coming down the pipeline for SoFi in its future and institutions know that but like I said there was one bullish sign that did come out that is not necessarily just with SoFi, but a lot of other growth stocks. So as you can see on Unusual Whales, it does go over all the options activity. More specifically, I want to point this one out. So typically when someone does buy a put that's usually anticipating that the price is going to go down, unless they choose a very high strike price, such as $15. When doing so, that means it is a very bullish signal. So looking here it is also $2.69 million worth of a premium. That's definitely not small change and most likely not a retail investor. That is an institution insinuating within 64 days, which is the expiry date, there might be a good likelihood of us getting 
getting to that $15 mark because we all know there is always manipulation, especially when it comes down to SoFi and a lot of these big institutions giving very low price targets when in reality, they most likely are buying the dip because like I already mentioned, looking at the block volume column, 7.3 million shares being purchased just today alone of SoFi. So like I said, take that how you see that. And so over and above that though, looking at the technicals, I have the 5100 200 day moving averages, boiling your bands, RSI, stochastic momentum, stochastic, you can tell there is a deviation starting to form black line above the red showing a bullish segment. Like I said, there's a lot of things all piling together, all showing there is a lot of upside potential starting to form momentum. You can tell number of buyers is definitely really liking this discount getting in kind of matches with the sentiment like I already showed you. Our size currently at 34 and on the actual chart, lower percent of the boiling band still, we did briefly touch outside of that, but obviously nine times out of 10 without a justifiable cause, we do bounce back in. And looking at some of the Fibonacci levels, currently trading at $5.47 in between the S2 and the S1, $5.86 is a point to watch for. I do feel we can easily get over that considering even $5.79 was our intraday high for today. It goes to show that there's a lot of momentum building with SoFi and other growth stocks has been being down so hard. Let me know in the comments below if you have bought SoFi because you definitely deserve a shout out. And also if you haven't already hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, greatly appreciate that. Also, on a side note, just let me know hypothetically going back to this, if you feel that SoFi can be $15 in 64 days. That's a little bit more of a short time frame, but when it came down to their earnings, it does show clearly there's a lot of upside coming and also they did up their Q2 earnings as well. So clearly they are anticipating a lot better things in its future. So take that how you see that as well, but let me know in the comments below what you think about that. And also pop over to my Discord, link in the description below. It's a free chat, a lot of good people. And with that said, appreciate you guys watching.